Okay, now I'm going to try to add some credits to this, a rolling credit. I use these for uh, theater productions a lot. I'll typically get something like this, which is a uh, cast list from a uh, publisher or something, and I don't want to have to retype all this stuff. I don't have simply time to retype it all. So I want to be able to enter this information directly. So I'm going to move that to the side for now. I've got that on another secondary monitor. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Title, and under title you've got various options here I'm going to go to the standard tab first and I want to drag the final credits over into the timeline here and I'm just gonna drag this onto a separate track uh, so I can play with it I can always move it someplace else later on I'm gonna extend it out a little bit for now I'll, I'll deal with the the length of how long I need it to run is really going to depend on how fast I want it to scroll and whether it's readable or not. So I won't be able to know that until I actually get this stuff cut and pasted over into this document. So right now I've just dragged it down into track six here and I am going to now bring across um, the cast list here and I can do a cut and paste. But as you notice the text is black here and the image here is black the background is black so if I do a cut and paste I'm not gonna see anything so the first thing I'm gonna do is change this background color here to um, to white so that I can see it so I'm gonna go back to the general area of the title the title tab again general and under advanced uh, you'll see where the black it shows black background I'm going to change that black background to a white background for now. And it's now changed to a white background over there. And the finishing credits is highlighted, fortunately, so I can still see that. Um, and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go back over here. And if I click on it, you'll see that I've highlighted the area that those credits are going to be cut and pasted into. OK, so let's give this a try. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. I've got the document in um, Publisher. I'm going to try to um, highlight what I can here. It's having a little trouble. I don't know if it's just slow. So let's go down to the bottom of the page here. I've highlighted all that text. I am going to, um, it won't, there we go. I'm going to take a copy on that. I'm going to move that back to my other screen out of the way. I'm going to go double click into here now that I'm in this area, and I'm going to do a control V to paste that. Okay, I've pasted it in there. I do not see anything. Uh, I'm not sure, but if I look over here, you see the title. You see everything separated by commas. Um, I don't see anything there, so I'm going to pause and try to figure this out. Interesting. I just paused for a second, and while I paused, and I was over here checking to see whether this was still a black background or not. Um, as you can see, it's a little slow for some reason. It still said white. I'm a white background. It's still a white background. Um, when I came back, it was on the left-hand side. Everything seems to have cut and pasted pretty close to what the original was. I mean, everything's a little bit off, but that's going to be expected because of spacing and such in Publisher and such. But you can see it's somewhat similar. Um, so I'm going to see what that looks like now is we, as we um, activate it and see what it, just to get an idea of how much adjustment we're going to have to do. So I'm going to move this back off the page. Uh, let's see what we've got here. If I click play, if it will play it. Now I've got no scrolling right now, so I'm going to pause again and check it out. Okay, now that I've been able to uh, copy and paste the text over here, which doesn't look that bad, uh, looks okay, it just uh, took a little delay before it actually showed up. Now I've got to figure out how to check it. If I, if I click play right now, nothing happens. The timeline, uh, timeline actually is moving, but nothing's happening up above, so nothing's scrolling. So um, what I notice is there's check mark here, so I'm going to click the check mark. And now it's a blank box, but I'm wondering if it's going to scroll because I'm at the beginning now and I'm not seeing the top. Because right now I do have it set. If you, if yeah, I don't know if I showed you that, I did have it set to uh, scroll. Whoops, where did I go? From uh, I'm sorry, right here. Animation from bottom to top. So it's supposed to scroll up from the bottom. I think right now I've got the blank space because I haven't gotten up there yet. So let's click play and see what that looks like. Ah, so it does work pretty well. Um, little smudgy on the darks and the bolds 
Uh, so I'll probably clean that up a little bit, but at least it is scrolling upward and the formatting is somewhat similar to the uh, document, if you recall, that I imported it from. Uh, it's not quite as clean, but the sizing is different and the commas probably just react differently, so I can probably play around with that quite a bit. Okay, so now that we've played it back, we see what it looks like. Um, I've uh, played that a couple times, I think, for you. And it's just a little smudge. I'm going to see how I can clean that up. So let's give that a try. So I'm going to double click up here, bring it back to the editing mode. I know I'm there because the check mark and the cancel is up there. And I'm going to just work on my spacing a little bit. For this, I'll probably have to, I don't know if tabs would work. Let me try a tab. Uh, no, nothing happens with a tab. It just tabs over this box here. So I'm going to just use spaces um, for now. Unless I can figure out something later that's better. Uh, actually, I shouldn't use spaces. What I should use is periods, just to continue the periods. And I'm just going to um, line up each of these individuals a little better. Okay, I don't think you want to sit here while I do this. This is kind of boring, so I'm going to pause. Okay, now I'm going to continue. I've uh, What I've done is I've uh, double-clicked on this area here, found the grab handles, and I've move them inward. So you can size it however you want to, whatever looks good. Um, and that'll just change these, because these are comma delimited, they'll just uh, move where you want them to. So I just found what looks decent to me and uh, forward, um, formatted, pulled each of those in. And now if I run through it, uh, it looks like it's sized pretty well. I can go back and you can see. Okay. Now the, the blurriness is essentially just, I believe, the fact that when I pulled over the um, title, the final credits title, uh, shadowing's turned on. I'm going to turn shadowing off and it's much clearer as you can see. So it's just the fact that I brought in the text from that original uh, publisher file and it shadowed that information. It kept the bold, I see, which is good. I want to keep that. Um, it kept the bold for the ensemble and the featured dancers. Um, but I did want to get rid of the shadowing. So that looks a lot clearer now. If I try a run on that, it's definitely usable. Now the trick will be I may want to move all this over, provide some more room so this thing scrolls by much slower. You don't have to sit through that. You pretty much know how to do that. Um, but I just wanted to show one other thing about the uh, the titling. When I pulled over that final t that titling over here, um, it comes in just with these and you get to set your in and your out fades so you can click on this, and if I want to fade in of some sort, you know, if I want to do uh, sh shutter faded or whatever, I can do that, and it'll start like that. If I want to change my end fade, um, it's set for a swing for whatever reason, I could change it to whatever I want to, it to fade out in. There's a swing out. Okay? So you can change those fades. You can uh, adjust the box however you want to. Um, and that's about it for this, uh, for adding final credit, final rolling credits. The rest you just play with and get it fixed, and you can do, uh, you can do all you want with colors, uh, fonts, play around with uh, spacing, of centering, um, indenting left or indenting right, and uh, you're good to go.